basically all the design uh, principles and theories to cover almost everything you'd ever see in a design book on a website, in a beautiful wedding, at a gorgeous hotel. When you're done with these classes, you're gonna look at them and say, I know how to do that, that's easy. Flower designing is effortless. If you're struggling, you're just doing something wrong. So we're gonna to explain to you how to do it effortlessly. So when people throw flowers in front of you, it's boom, 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 boom. There it is. All right? So 20 uh, some years ago, I was working on Wall Street in New York and I stopped into a flower shop and they asked me to drive a truck for them to deliver some flowers for them. And I said, sure, I always need extra money for uh, back in the Big Apple. And I drove the truck for two weeks and after I got done, they gave me a check. And uh, I said, thanks, I'm out of here. They said, wait a minute. And I said, what? And they said, help us do flowers. And I said, I don't do flowers, man. They said, you do now. And I said, what do you want me to do? They said, stick one at each one of these. So what I learned in six years, I'm gonna teach you in a very short period of time. Right now, I stayed a second day, I stayed a third day, I stayed six years. I never left. And I just basically watched uh, a very good designer and he showed me that it's this much creativity, that much uh, uh, design principles, uh, technique, formulas. Got it? So I don't care how creative you are, you're gonna follow the technique and the formulas that all top designers do. So, uh, we're, again, we do three classes a day. Each hour is a different class. You're gonna get a ton of flowers. All of this you'll be going home with. Uh, every day you, can, you take home three major projects, so I hope you brought shopping bags or boxes to carry everything home, right? Did you? Good. Good. Um, and when you're done, you're gonna look again, you're gonna look at any flower design and understand why it is done that way. It's what the human eye expects to see is great flower designing, and we're gonna teach you how to do that. There's a reason why you put a flower where you do. It's not magic. I always said, if it was based on creative magic dust, what, if, what would you say to a bride one day? I'm sorry, do you mind if we move your wedding back two weeks, because I'm just not feeling it today? Do you, is that okay? Could you call the caterers? Right, no, you go to work, you've got 50 orders in front of you on a Monday morning, you've gotta do this, boom, 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 boom. Next, next, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous flowers all day long. So how do we do that? It's not because we're sprinkled with magic fairy dust, it's because we know these formulas and techniques. That much creativity. Yes, you can put your thumbprint on it at the end of your project to make it your own. People often say when they walk into a room, oh, I knew you did the flowers, Michael. Um, and sometimes, well, usually they're right, but sometimes they're wrong. I say, no, Bob did them. Uh, because his technique looks like mine. Uh, but again, I put my thumbprint on my work to give it that little, and that's the creative part. Uh, so we're gonna teach you very saleable commercial design here at the school. Things that everybody looks at and loves and wants and adores, and you go in the magazines, you're like, oh my God, that's so beautiful, right? We're gonna show you how to do it. So. You all have your book, right? Design Start. Uh, start reading it. We're going to basically uh, uh, follow the book. I always say there's a thousand tips in this book for you to understand. There's a million of them in class. So there's the basic, all the theories and, and formulas are in the book. But I'm going to give you all the rest right over your shoulder while you're designing. Saying little to the left, little to right. Now you see it, you're going to say, oh, there it is. Yep, that, now I get it. This is very easy. Flower designing is very easy to do. It's different than what people think, and I think that they think it's all about creativity and making this up. No, we're following the looks. So we're gonna sell you very, we're gonna teach you very commercial, saleable looks that every designer does. Okay, any questions? Nope, okay, push all that to the side. And I'm gonna have some, uh, everybody come on up and we, you can all assist. Uh, give everybody five stems of stock. So you need, you can do the stock. Give everybody five stems of stock and you can give everybody three stems of uh, Asiatic lilies. And you can give everybody two, stem, oop, two stems of daisies. So pass these out, set them right in front of everybody's table. Walk around the room and place them in front of everybody's table. Here you go. Give everybody two different colors, yes. No, give two different colors. Yes, give three stems of each. Three lilies, five stock, and two packs of, uh, you can leave them in the wrapper, just put them right in front of everybody's place. And then we'll start designing. The first thing we're gonna do is call the European hand tie bouquet. Two there, very good, two there. I'll take two. 
So we're going to get cut into flowers. We'll be working with uh, domestic flowers, exotic flowers, orchids, birds of paradise, uh, every, just about any flower you can imagine we'll be working with during the semester. Um, three, 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 that'll leave you one left. By the way, there's about 10 flowers uh, uh, commercially in every bunch as a rule. There are exceptions, hydrangeas, roses, carnations, commercially come in bunches of 25. So normally when you're looking at flowers, you often get them in packs of 10. Okay, we're gonna talk a lot about wholesale versus retail. The name of the book is called Design Star. You're going to d design unique, unique, beautiful work for your client. Um, thank you, my dear. <laughs> it's very sweet. Um, the actress, uh, uh, Cecily Tyson was in my class last semester in New York, and uh, her message uh, what is, learn your craft and do it well, right? As she does acting. I saw her in a film recently. Did you see the movie The Help? Yes, I saw her in it, and I finally understood acting she's, and why she's a legend. To see that woman sitting in front of me for eight weeks, and then uh, four weeks, and then see her on film was like, I could not believe it was the same person. But anyway, I'm going to read the last chapter of the book. And uh, I was on the Today Show with uh, 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 Hoda and uh, um, Kathy Lee, and uh, this is before my book came out, and someone said to me, uh, how did you finish the book? And I said, I don't know they had tape recorded me and then transcribed it into the book. So that was like a year ago, so I didn't remember. So here it is. So I had to buy my own book to see how I ended it. <laughs> and here it is right here, because uh, they just did me rambling through classes and lecturing and talking. And here it is. It says, this is your craft. The aim of the book is to teach you the craft. People will come to you for flowers because your designs are simply that much prettier, fresher, and higher quality than they've ever seen before. They will appreciate the two dozen tulips Collard, it's a term we're going to use, learn today, and ver with variegated pittus porum, more than the same vase with the same tulips that the other guys down the street simply plunk into a vase with the tulips flopping over the sides. They will see your skill in the slightest, smallest design, and you are like the couture designer, knowing when to add a button here and a seam there. You are like the chef who knows just the pinch of tarragon a dish needs to really shine, and you will add that perfect touch of fiddlehead fern that makes the design uniquely yours. And here it is. Clients will come to you because your work emotes feelings of beauty and love and makes them feel at peace with the world for a few moments when they gaze at it. The end. <laughs> That's how we it. That is what you're going to learn how to do. Create spectacular designs, easy breezy, Simple, not stressing out. Learn how to throw these flowers together and hand them to clients and go, oh my God, is that beautiful. We've taught thousands of students in this class. How many students have never made, have not made great arrangements? How many do you think? What do you think my reputation is built on? How many students have never done well in this class? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Zero. There was a one guy named Tim who took this class and we were doing parallel design, which is a very architectural masculine, urban design. All you can do is stick flowers this way or this way. Those are the chess moves. I say in every design, there's two or three chess moves to checkmate. If you follow those rules, you're gonna hit it. You're gonna win that chess game every time. So Tim was like leaning everything. I'm like, Tim, Tim, have you ever seen a tree? Just stick it straight in that foam. I come back, he's like, okay. I'm like, Tim, Tim, why are you here? My wife sent me. She said I'm uh, not happy as a biotech engineer and I should take flower classes. I said, all right, Tim, just everybody else, I'll be right with you. Now, Tim, stick that damn flower right in that foam like this. He, he couldn't do it. He kept, I said, I, I, said uh, I finally met the guy who is not going to be a good designer. Well, anyway, Tim warmed up to the rest of the room. It took him like two weeks. You're going to do great work today, your first day. Your very first day, you'll leave here with gorgeous stuff. He, it took him about two weeks to catch up, and guess who worked, wound up working for me as one of my top designers? One guess, Tim. He's a great designer these days. Yeah, the one guy. I've had cops, I've had construction workers, I've had left brain, right brains take this class. I've, and you will all learn how to do it like the pros do it, which is effortless and easy and uh, a no-brainer. So the first thing you're going to do is grab your tools. You're going to learn how to open flowers like a pro. In other words, you don't want to pull them down like this. You're going to take your piece of cellophane, your scissors rather, and cut this open and release your flowers out the top. So open up your cellophane like that and release all your flowers and just spread them out on your table. 